Hi, I'm Rakesh Navaluri. I'm the program director for the Interventional Radiology Residency Program at the University of Chicago. And I'm Steve Zangin, the Associate Program Director. We want to introduce ourselves and welcome you to this virtual tour of the IR Integrated Residency Program. Our program offers a well-rounded curriculum in both diagnostic and interventional radiology. We are especially proud of our IR program in which residents are exposed to the full spectrum of interventional radiology procedures in both adults and children, as well as an outpatient clinic. The hallmark of our program is resident autonomy in a collegial environment. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Teleria and I'm one of the chief residents here at the UChicago Radiology Residency Program this year. We'll be doing a virtual tour today showing you around all the different spaces in the hospital, a lot of which you'll be spending a lot of your time the following four years. Right now we're in Mitchell Hospital, so the second floor of Mitchell Hospital is the radiology administrative area, and that includes this conference room that we're standing in right now. Here we come every day for lunch and noon conference and we learn about all different types of subjects. Down the hall we have a few different attending offices that you can kind of go and peep if they're there. We have our residency coordinator office also uh, and then also a resident lounge that has a microwave and a refrigerator in there. You know, you can keep your lunch or whatever else you need. Hello everyone, my name is Mark de Guzman. I'm the other radiology chief resident for this academic year. Welcome to our pediatric radiology reading room housed in the first floor of Comer Children's Hospital. Comer is our standalone 172-bed children's hospital where we see a wide variety of pediatric radiology cases and closely collaborate with our clinical and surgical teams. It is here that we perform all of our pediatric fluoroscopy cases as well as have the CT and MRI scanners down the hall. Across the street, we have our DCAM outpatient center where we have our musculoskeletal, GI, and breast radiology departments. All of the buildings are connected via indoor sky bridges, so it's a breeze walking throughout the hospital and campus, even if it's cold out. So now we've moved down to the first floor of Mitchell Hospital, and we're standing in the chest reading room. Here, the residents and the attendings each work at their individual reading stations, but in close proximity to one another, so collaborating throughout the day. All of our monitors have been updated recently. We all have diagnostic Barco monitors, we have ergonomic desks that move up and down as whatever feels comfortable to you. And we also have Herman Miller chairs, which can be adjusted to whatever fits your needs. In this close proximity here in Mitchell Hospital on the first floor, we also have the body reading room, which includes CT, MRI, and then ultrasound kind of down the hall. Also around the corner is our nuclear medicine reading room. Hello everyone, welcome to our neuroradiology reading room located in the fifth floor of CCD or Center for Care and Discovery. There's a 436-bed hospital that houses our interventional radiology department as well as our emergency department. And the emergency department reading room is where you'll do all your diagnostic calls and be exposed to all the trauma that we have here in the hospital. Um, so one of my favorite things about this program is definitely the group of residents that we have here. Um, I really think we have a solid group Everyone is super friendly, super willing to help each other. Regardless of someone has to give up a last minute call or last minute moonlighting shift, there's almost always someone who offers to help. And overall, I think it makes for a really great work environment here, very low stress and just overall enjoyable. Our relationship with the administrators and the leadership here, I feel like they often have our backs as residents. As a resident here, I feel well supported. We are really flexible in the amount of you know, vacation days that we're able to take. For me as a parent in residency, it was really helpful not to have too many restrictions, being able to have to leave, you know, to take care of my kid and things like that. And we have a good parental leave program here for both mo new mothers and new fathers. So I think as a resident, it's a really important part of this program as well. What I find interesting about the university specifically is the fact that this crazy big city um, is reflected in our patient population. We see you know, people from all walks of life and we see all types of different pathology. We see the hyperacute trauma, our emergency room patient and everything in between. In terms of our inpatient population, we see tons of surgical patients, oncology patients, people who are being seen by the gastroenterology clinic, which is very well known and of course the transplant service as well. All of these different experiences allow you to interface with different surgical teams, different clinical teams, and really develop a, a well-rounded training in terms of what you're going to see in the real world. 
is if you want a very research heavy residency and career, you can find that here for sure. And so you can sort of kind of tailor your residency based off of your interests and kind of where you're, where, you know, where you're going in life and the direction that you want to make. I'm originally from Hawaii, but I've learned to enjoy the four seasons that Chicago offers. So obviously summer is amazing every year and everyone looks forward to it after the winter. But I look forward to the fall and winter every year because the city is very festive and holds a bunch of events that are holiday themed, seasonal themed. Michigan Ave has lights down the entire street with parades. There's pop-up restaurants that are holiday themed too. So it really makes me look forward to fall and winter seasons. We have great support from our Alumni Association, Hodges Society at U of C. They provide funding for some invaluable tools that the residents utilize, StatDX and Rad Primer, which I used a lot in my own training. They also allow us to meet up for various events that are funded for the residency program. In the past, we've done Cubs White Sox games, architecture boat tours, as well as other kind of team building events, skating at Maggie Daly, et cetera. They also host a dinner every year for the current residents, fellows, as well as alumni. They also have provided residents with gifts, including in the past an iPad and jackets for the residents. So they really have funded these different opportunities that have enabled me to succeed in my own training and to bond with my fellow residents and to connect with past trainees as well. On behalf of the University of Chicago IR Residency Program, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this virtual tour. We hope that we were able to offer you a glimpse into our exceptional program, and we hope to meet you in person soon.